Hi, welcome back to exploiting Node.js vulnerabilities. This is tutorial about improper input handling. In here, we have an HTTP, then we are getting a URL. After creating the server, we have a URL and query.name. Uh, basically, it means we have uh, HTTP URL goes here and then we have here name and name here can be equal to anything because we don't have any condition to sanitize the main input uh, so anything written here will be executed as system span as we can see here hello plus pops url dot query dot name so let's see its functionality here Where we have saved it input invalid dot js uh, no dot exe exploits and input underscore in invalid dot js okay so it is listening on port double eight double eight let's try to use it one two seven hello and define because still the username is not defined let's try to define the username name equals Adi. hey it says hey hello Adi. Uh, hello visitor welcome to exploiting node.js vulnerabilities and here we can see that we got all the code this is actually a text indexing anything here written will be Forced and executed here as the application is running here. So let's try some evil stuff here. D and D. So HTML tags. You can see that name is in bold. This is HTML injection. Uh, injection. Let's try uh, some kind of JavaScripting attacks. And there we go. IMG source equals X on error prompt one. And there we go x x s okay uh, it basically means that improper handling of any query can lead to a system-wide exploitation of node.js so we have to keep track of all the input we are getting and we must have to sanitize the input hope you guys enjoyed it leave your feedback good luck